What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video today. I want to talk about the spot price of gold being down. It's actually a three month low as I'm recording the video, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily uploads. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for weekly uploads. The link will be in the description, trying to hit a thousand subscribers. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But I want to talk about the spot price of gold. I'm sure many of you watching right now are familiar with my channel and more specifically my most recent videos. And I put out a video a couple days ago talking about how silver seems to be postponed for the time being, it's like the silver stacking has come to a halt. And I put out a video just thinking out loud, talking about some alternatives, maybe where we should be shifting our focus for the time being. And one of the things that I mentioned in the video was maybe since gold is down a little bit, not entirely, gold did not come crashing down like we saw silver do in recent days, but gold is actually down from where it's been over the last few months. And as I'm looking at the chart right now, gold is right around $1,500. It's like 1504 as I'm recording this video. And what I thought was interesting is that just last month, gold was actually getting kind of close to $1,700. I'm looking at it and I'm looking at 1644 I'm looking at 1662 I'm looking at 1677 I'm looking at 1676 gold was actually closer to $1700 an ounce than it was $1600 an ounce that's really high for gold and I can't speak for everyone I can only speak for myself but in my opinion and from my perspective gold was to some degree out of reach, I have personally not been all enthusiastic about converting my dollars into gold at such a high, high, high spot price right now. Many people know that over the last year and a half, two years, I started to develop a little bit more of an interest when it comes to diversification. I started out stacking silver. I still 100% prefer silver over any other metal but I do respect all metals, including industrial metals, as forms and methods of diversification. I believe if you have all your eggs in one basket, you are setting yourself up for failure. And I started to stack gold, or I guess mostly focus my attention on gold, right around the $1,100, maybe $1,200 range, or somewhere fluctuating in between. And I remember making a video talking about how I want to stack a little bit more gold than I've been and pretty much immediately after I posted that video boom $1,300 $1,400 $1,500 and for the last three months specifically gold has been in between fifteen and seventeen hundred dollars this entire time and last month or for the last month I should say it's been very, very high. It's been in the 16 almost $1,700 range, but right now it's all the way down to $1,500. And just a couple days ago, it was actually a little bit below. I'm looking at $1,482, $1,481, $1,487. It was actually a little bit below $1,500. So am I going to sit here and say that this is an absolute opportunity? This is the absolute best time to begin converting your dollars into gold if you haven't already been doing that. No, that's not what I'm going to say. However, gold is a little bit cheaper than where it's been for the last few weeks, last few months. Not to mention, even though it's down, it's not down the way silver is down right now. Silver has come crashing down. Silver was actually getting kind of close to the $20 mark and then boom, 12 bucks. And all of these bullion dealers, coin shops, and online precious metal sellers have been tacking on unrealistic premiums, I'm assuming, to make up for lost dollars. I'm assuming that they got a majority of their inventory in the $16, $17 range and then 
in order to prevent losing money and in order to still profit, they probably have no choice but to put on seven, eight, nine, ten dollar premiums. It's probably the only way they can profit off of people converting their dollars into silver, which I understand. It's not convenient for me. It's not great for me, but I do understand how business works and I respect it to some degree, not to mention supply and demand. If people are willing to convert their dollars into silver for almost double what spot price even is, then they're going to continue being able to charge X amount of dollars. With all that being said, silver is kind of a disaster for the at, at the moment. Silver came crashing down out of nowhere. Everyone's scrambling. Everybody is what I like to call panic stacking. I'm guilty of it myself. I lunge at opportunities when I see them. But with premiums right now, it's just it's just not the move in my opinion from my perspective. Not a financial advisor, so don't take anything I say as financial advice. But with all that being said, with silver being down and premiums being cranked all the way up, gold is down a little bit, but the premiums are not insane. The premiums on gold is pretty much exactly what it's been for the last couple months, last couple years, whatever. I have not noticed a difference in premiums on gold. I've been stacking fractional gold for the last probably about two years, almost as long as I've been stacking silver for. I've been stacking fractional gold. And I am scrolling around. I'm seeing that some are out of stock. And I'm assuming it's because people are probably thinking or saying the same things that I'm thinking and saying right now, that maybe gold is the smarter move right now. However, at the end of the day, I will say this. This is obviously coming from the perspective of somebody who... I, I don't get paid money to talk about people converting their dollars into silver. It's not like any of these online precious metal dealers are paying me to talk about it. But I will say this. I think, in my opinion, from my perspective, gold might be a smarter move right now. It might be smarter, but I think the smartest decision for the time being is to stack that fiat. It's to stack that cash. It's to stack those dollars because... None of us really know what's going to be going on. Hopefully this whole pandemic comes to an end sooner rather than later. But realistically speaking, when things like this happen, it usually gets worse before it gets better. And I know everyone's talking about, oh, 14-day quarantine, 14-day isolation. I have a strong feeling that 14 days might get extended. I have a feeling this is not going to be a few weeks. I have a feeling it's actually going to be quite a bit longer. And with over half a million people applying for unemployment just in the last two weeks alone, things aren't really looking that all that good. And I refuse to be a fear monger, but I do think that the smartest idea right now is to save some cash. I think a lot of people should maybe potentially take into consideration taking a step back away from converting their dollars into metals, maybe take a step back from investing their money in whatever they've been investing in. I think right now might be the time to save. I think right now, if you're going to convert your dollars into anything, I think it should probably be prepping supplies. But if you are still fixated on precious metals, which I'll admit I am as well, and I do plan on picking up a little bit of gold this upcoming week, regardless. Call me a hypocrite if you want, but you know I do want to get a ni nice little piece of gold. I, I, I need my fix. I, I, I need some new metal of some sort, so I can't really help myself. But in my opinion, from my perspective, not a financial advisor, I just feel like gold might be the smarter move right now between silver and gold. And as much as I want to focus on silver, it's just the premiums are just, I'm personally just unwilling. And evidently a lot of people are willing. Therefore, all of these companies are able to charge crazy premiums. But like I said, this is all just my opinion. I'm curious what everybody thinks. Head on down to the comments and let me know which metal do you have your eyes on or which investment do you have your eyes on or... Are you turning your head all together and said, nope, screw that, I'm saving this fiat for the time being? Let me know in the comments. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. 
new videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. The link will be in the description, trying really hard to hit a thousand subscribers. So help us out. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a bunch of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merch can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know what are your thoughts regarding the spot price of gold right now. We're going to shift our focus away from silver. Yeah, spot's low, premium's up. Also, water's wet. We don't have to focus on that. We don't have to fixate on that. Let's talk about gold. Let me know in the comment section down below any of your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.